Hi, welcome. I'm one of the developers at MathAI, and this is an introductory tutorial to the MathAI website. But I will also quickly demonstrate the iOS mobile app as well. So you can see that we're on the default URL, mathai.com, and we have this whiteboard over here. And on this whiteboard, we can draw up our math, physics, or chemistry formulas and then communicate to our AI tutor over here. But we can also paste images of our math formulas on the whiteboard. But I will start by demonstrating how you would draw up math on the whiteboard. So I'm going to start by selecting the pen tool. And now I can, for example, draw up 4 plus 4 on the canvas and then press scan canvas. That will make our math equations appear in the top left corner over here. And now that we have our math equations in the top left corner, we can communicate with our AI tutor about our math. So for instance, if I type help, our AI tutor will now be able to know what we're referring to because it has access to this little context window up here. So it says four plus four is equal to eight. And of course that was a very simple question, but we can do some more advanced stuff. So I'm gonna press clear canvas to clear the canvas and also the context window in the top left. And now we can try something more advanced. So for instance, we might wanna type out like an equation. So x to the power of two minus six x plus eight is equal to minus one. And then press on scan canvas. And then we can double check if it got interpreted correctly, which it did. And now we can ask for help. So we always gotta make sure to press on scan canvas before we ask for help. If we want the AI tutor to be able to see what we have drawn up on our canvas. And we can see that it got the answer to x is equal to 3, which is correct. But we can also change the language of our AI tutor if we prefer a different language. So if we press over here on the menu icon, we can go down right here. And then we can change the language to Swedish, French or Spanish. English is the default language. So if we were to change this to Swedish, for example, our AI tutor will now type to us in Swedish. So to make sure that it actually works, it's good to create a new room. So just reset the chat box. And now if we type hi in Swedish like so, our AI tutor will type back to us in Swedish instead. And we see that it solves our problem because we still have it inside of the context window up here. We can also clear the context window by pressing this little button here or we can use to clear the entire canvas. And that will also clear the context window. But if your preferred language is not a part of this list, then you can actually just ask the AI tutor to write in your preferred language and it will actually do that. So it actually understands all languages. These are just like the native settings that you can change. But if you prefer a different language, then you can just write in that language in the chat box and your AI tutor will understand that you want to communicate in that language. But we're continuously updating the languages, so hopefully we will have a couple of more languages there soon. If you have any suggestions on languages, you can always email or just comment on the video and we will try to add them as soon as possible. Now, you may also want to change the display. So sometimes it can actually look more nice to zoom out a bit. So on Windows, that's just control and then scroll wheel. And then you can just make the chat box a bit smaller and the window here a bit larger. You can also close the chat box over here and close the context window over here, like so. And you can also paste in images. So for instance, we might be stuck on a question like this one. And then we can simply just take a screenshot of the question. So on Windows, you would press the Windows key, Shift key, and the S key at the same time. And on Mac, that would be Shift Command 4. So I'm gonna press the Windows combination because I am on a Windows computer. And now that we have taken the screenshot, it will be automatically copied to our clipboard. And now we can select the whiteboard, so you just press on it, like so. And then we can just paste in the image, so Control v on Windows and then Command v on Mac. And now we can do as before, and just press Scan Canvas to make our math be interpreted. And now we can see our math up here in the top left corner. And usually on pictures, you don't actually have to double check, because it's extremely accurate. And now we can ask for help, so we can type help. Or we can actually just press on one of these suggested messages. So I'm just gonna press on the help me with this. And then our AI tutor will help us with this problem. So for the sake of demonstrating, I'm not actually going to be going through all of the derivations and I'm instead just gonna check the answer. But yeah, if, if you were actually stuck on an exercise, you would probably want to go through everything to make sure that you actually understand the concepts. So the correct answers are B and D. So now we can double check that. So if we press on D and then on B, and then we press on check. And we can see that those were indeed the right answers. And a really cool thing about this is that we can actually ask for help about specific portions of the explanation. So this explanation was really large, but let's say that we didn't quite get this part right here. Then we can actually just take a screenshot of that specific part and ask for help. So Windows key shift and S again, because I'm on a Windows PC. Else on Mac, it would be command shift and then four. And then I'm just gonna crop that out. And then I'm gonna select the whiteboard again. So you just press on the whiteboard and then control V and you just paste it in on Mac, command V. And now I'm just gonna press on scan canvas. And now we can see that only this portion is displayed in the top left. And now we can just ask our AI tutor about that step. And we can take this opportunity to use the voice typing. So to save time, instead of actually typing, you can just say the message. So I'm just gonna say, can you help me with this portion of the equation? I didn't quite get it. Then I'm gonna press on st stop listening. And then I can send that. We can see that we have the message right here. And the, the voice typing functionality is actually very accurate. So you can say some pretty like, you know, 
advanced stuff pretty quickly and, and it will still you know understand what you're saying which is very helpful when you try to ask like a specific question and you can't be bothered writing it all out all right but now i think it's a good time to go over smart mode so currently we have been operating on normal mode but smart mode enables us to enhance the intelligence of our ai tutor so it's recommended when it comes to more advanced problems but you do require these tokens to use it so to enable smart mode you use toggle this button right here such that it lights up in blue and now we have smart mode enabled so for instance if we had a more advanced question like this one which involved more high level math then smart mode can actually be very useful because smart mode will be way more accurate on these more advanced questions but of course you can always try first with normal mode and see if it's correct and if it's incorrect then you can try out smart mode but on this particular question we actually have a table but this is actually fine because our canvas cam feature can actually interpret tables which means that we can just take a screenshot of this like before and then we can just copy it and then just paste it in on the clipboard. So I'm just gonna select the clipboard and then just control V and then press on scan canvas again. And now we can see that our table is interpreted. So we can see that the table is right over there. We can also scroll down on the rest of the exercise. But now if we press on help me with this, with smart mode toggled, we can see that our AI tutor is now glowing with this little blue light to indicate that this is a smart mode message. And we can see that it's going through the exercise, it writes down the table over here. And we can see that it's reasoning through the question and explaining it as we go. And it gets the answer to A. So the table is appropriate. And we can double check that. So if we press on A and then press on check, we can see that that was the correct answer. And just to emphasize the benefits of smart mode, I thought I would give it a try with this really advanced mathematical problem. And this math is really, really high level, but I'm just gonna try it out with the largest question over here. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of it like before, and then I'm gonna paste it on the whiteboard, press scan, and then I'm gonna press the suggested message right here. Help me with this. Let's tackle this problem step by step. Part A. Would you show that the surface integral given by the magnitude of the total force of the ball due to the fluid's pressure is this right here? So I'm just gonna skip through this because it's probably gonna take a while. It's the A, B, and C question, and the AI tutor will most likely answer all of the parts. It usually does that. So I'm just gonna speed this up a bit. All right, so here we have the answer right here. And let's double check the answer. And it is indeed correct. So it's the same answer as given by the book, which is absolutely insane because this is a really advanced problem. So I think that shows the benefits of actually using smart mode. Now, all problems are not this advanced. So you most likely will not have to use smart mode on all of your problems, but smart mode is really useful on these more complex questions. But as I mentioned before, smart mode will deplete our tokens up here. Each word that we send and receive is about 0.75 tokens. And on the effective learner plan, we get 100,000 tokens each month, which will give you around 340 smart mode messages messages each month, which is sufficient for most people, but we can still do our best to try to save our tokens. So one way that you can do this, if you have access to an answer sheet and you actually know if the answer is correct, is that you can begin by sending the question with normal mode. And if the AI tutor cannot explain it sufficiently well, or if it gets the wrong answer, then you can send it with smart mode enabled and it will most likely get it correct and give a clearer explanation. Another method to save smart mode tokens is to manage the AI tutor's memory. So currently when we type something like my name is John, and then we press send, our AI tutor will actually remember our name. So what we're doing behind the scenes here is that we're actually resending some of the previous messages into the AI tutor's context window, such that the AI tutor can actually remember what we have previously typed. Which means that if I now ask, what is my name? Our AI tutor will actually have access to our previous message and therefore know our name. But if we now press this little button right here, we will delete our previous messages from the AI tutor's memory. So if we now type, what is my name? our AI tutor will actually not know what our name is. So as an AI, I don't have any personal information. So we can see that our AI tutor has no idea what her name is. And this process of deleting messages actually happens automatically after a while. But if the information in the previous message is not necessary for the AI tutor to have for the current message, then you can just delete it manually. And by doing that, you will be decreasing the size of the message and therefore depleting less tokens. Or you can just create a new room by just going up here and then he's pressing on new room and that will just clear the entire chat and also all of the memory as well. Now, there are some additional features of the whiteboard that I wanna go over, but first, let me explain how you move around. So if you have the whiteboard selected and then hold down the space bar and then press on the whiteboard with your mouse and then drag around, you will actually be moving around on the whiteboard, which is a very useful shortcut as you can stay on the pen tool and you don't have to select the panning tool and then go back to the pen tool. You can also zoom in and out by holding down control and scrolling with your scroll wheel. Another useful tool is the eraser. You can press on it or you can actually hover over a tool and see its keyboard shortcuts. So for the eraser, the keyboard shortcut is E or zero. And to erase things, you simply hold down on them and then release. You can also add text if you press on the text tool, or you can use the select tool and then use double click, which I prefer. The select tool can also be used to select chunks of the canvas and then delete them or move them or even duplicate them. You can also undo and redo with control Z and control shift Z. You can also use the rectangle tool to isolate your scan. So for instance, let's say that we're 
you know, drawing up some math equations right here. So 2 plus x is equal to, I don't know, 5. And then maybe we have like some other equation over here, like z to the power of 2. And then we press on scan canvas. That will actually, you know, display both of our equations. But we might only want to scan one of these things. So for instance, let's say that we have like some, some random like drawing here. Maybe we're, you know, trying to make some, some physics drawing or something. But we only want to talk about this equation to our AI tutor. Well, then we can select the rectangle tool up here, or we can press on R. And then we can surround the equation that we want to isolate or that we want to, you know, target. And then we can press on scan canvas again. And now only the equations within the rectangle will actually be scanned, which means that we only have 2 plus x is equal to 5 in the context window. So now if I type help, our AI tutor will only know 2 plus x is equal to 5. And this also works with images. So for instance, let's say I just take a quick little image of the, of the response here. And then I paste it in right there. And then I just move the rectangle over to the image then our image will be isolated and none of the equations will appear in our context window. But you can't do multiple rectangles at once and you can't either scan drawings. So for example, we can't take this rectangle and drag it over to our drawing and expect our AI tutor to understand. So the scan canvas feature does not work with images. It only works with text, math, equations, and formulas, and things of that nature. It doesn't either work on graphs, so I think that's a good thing to know such that you don't waste any time. So for instance, if I were to take a screenshot of this graph and paste it in, we would not actually be able to communicate with our AI tutor about the graph. So I think that's a good thing to say such that you don't waste any time trying to scan graphs or drawings. But the canvas scan does understand chemistry structures, which is really cool. So I will demonstrate that now. And you can do chemistry and physics inside of the math room. So currently we're on the default URL, which is the math room, but we can actually change rooms. So if we go onto the dashboard, we can select between these three rooms. And if we go into the math room now, then we have the actual math URL. But as I said, the default URL will also just be the math room. But now if we select the chemistry room, our AI tutor will be tuned to chemistry and perform better. Same thing if you were to go into the physics room and do physics but all of the rooms can actually do all of the subjects it's just more tuned to the actual subject of the room so let's say we want to do some chemistry we could just drop like h2o on the whiteboard like this or we can actually just take an image as we did with math but now with chemistry and as i mentioned it does work with chemical structures but this is still a very experimental feature though so it might not always interpret the chemical structures correctly so for example if we have this chemical formula right here and we don't actually know what it means we can take an image of it and then paste it on the whiteboard because our scan canvas feature will actually understand these formulas. So if I press on scan canvas, we can see that our structure is up in the top left. And this actually means the same thing. So you can actually write this formula as this little figure right here, where the edges denote each carbon atom. So for example, if we draw up this little thing, we can see that we have one, two, three, four edges, which is the same as one, two, three, four carbon atoms. So if we now say, what is this chemical formula? And then we press on send we can see that our AI tutor will actually have access to the formula and be able to explain what type of chemical it is. And we can see that our AI tutor here actually took the effort to visualize the chemical structure in this little window right here, which it usually doesn't do actually. Like this might be a bit of a smart mode thing. I think that normal mode probably wouldn't have done that. I'm also going to be going over some of the settings. So for example, we have this setting down here called hint depth level. And hint depth level decides on how inclined the AI tutor is to give us hint and guidance instead of just revealing the answer immediately. So for instance, we might be working on a problem where we don't just want to have the answer revealed immediately. We might just want to get some hints or some guidance instead. So if we change this to high, that is what's going to happen. We're not actually going to be giving the answer. So now we might only just get a clue or maybe one step into deriving the answer instead of just getting the full solution. So for example, if we want to solve this problem right here, but now with hint depth level set to high, we can just press on scan canvas like before and ask for help. But now the AI tutor should just give us one step into deriving the solution rather than just giving us the whole solution. Certainly, let's start by expanding both sides of the equation on your right board step by step. On the left side, we have an equation that needs to be distributed. 2 multiplied by opening parentheses w plus 3 closing parentheses. Can you distribute the 2 into the parentheses? What do you get when you do that? Right, so now we can actually do this on the whiteboard. So I'm just going to press on the pen again. And now I'm just going to write down the equation, but now with this little distribution going on. So I'm just going to type 2 multiplied by w, like so, plus 2 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 6, minus 10 is equal to 6, and then the parentheses 32 minus 3 w, oh, w, like so. And now I'm going to surround our equation with the rectangle tool again to isolate our part of the canvas and then press on scan canvas. And now we can see that we have our equation up there and now we can actually ask for reassurance. So I'm just gonna use the voice typing. Did I distribute the two correctly? 
And now we can send this. Yes, you distributed the two correctly on the left side of the equation. You now have two w plus six minus 10. Now let's simplify the left side before we move on to the right side. Can you combine the constant terms on the left side? What does that simplify to? Right, so now it wants us to combine the six minus 10. But yeah, you guys get the point. So we can go like back and forth with the AI tutor and ask for reinsurance and make sure that we're actually doing the correct steps, which is actually very similar when you think about it of actually having a teacher next to you, which I think is pretty cool. But either way, now I'm just gonna go back to the default settings so i'm gonna go back to hint depth level set to low there are some other settings over here this might be another setting to mention so this is stream ai tutor message so currently we have been streaming the messages so they're like flowing like for instance if i type hello like so we can see that the message is being streamed but if i just cancel that but now if i toggle this off and i type hello the whole message will actually be sent at once and the message will not be streamed and we see that we have the whole message at once instead which I would say it's not actually preferable. I sort of like it to be streamed because then I can read while it's being written, which, you know, kind of saves time. But that's a setting that it can turn off if you want to. All right, now I'm gonna go over the plans. So if you go up to pricing, you can see the different plans that you can choose from. So the free plan that you're on automatically when you go onto the website for the first time gives you seven normal messages for free. And I also, by the way, think it's good to preface that we're continuously updating and adding new features to Math AI, which means that these plans might have changed when you're watching this video. But then we have new learner, which gives you unlimited messages and unlimited canvas scans, but only five messages on the mobile app such that you can try it and see if you like it. The mobile app is currently only on iOS, but we're soon going to release it on Android as well. It works in a similar manner, but you can instead take photos with your camera and then receive assistance from our AI tutor. And then we have the effective learner, and this is the plan that I recommend if you're doing a reasonable amount of math, physics, or chemistry, because this plan gives you everything from new learner, but also 100,000 mathy tokens each month, which means that you will be able to send around 340 smart mode messages each month, which will enable your AI tutor to help you with more advanced questions and also give more clear explanations on those questions. And in addition to that, you also get unlimited messages on the Math AI mobile app, which means that if you don't actually have your computer next to you, or perhaps the question is on a physical paper instead, you will be able to use the mobile app. Just make sure to log in with your website account on the mobile app. It also gives you an unlimited amount of voice typing, which you only have five tries on if you're on the free plan, which enables you to communicate faster with the AI tutor. Then we also have Master Learner, which gives you every Everything from effective learner, but now 250,000 MAFI tokens each month instead of 100,000 MAFI tokens each month. And 250 MAFI tokens is about 840 smart mode messages. It also gives you access to text to speech, which you can enable in settings. And it also gives you some other features, such as a Discord role with access to more Discord channels and also priority access to new features. It's also worth saying that you can buy tokens separately. So if you press on get more or if you scroll down on the dashboard, you will find this section where you can buy tokens specifically. But that's it for the MAFI AI tutorial. We will continue posting tutorials and updating the website and adding new features and we will make videos about those features to keep you guys updated. We're also continuously updating the models to improve performance as much as possible. You will see the explanations of the AI tutor becoming clearer and clearer and also the AI tutor being able to handle more complex questions. We'll also make videos about how you can use the website more effectively. But if you have any questions or any features that you would like to add, then you can just comment them below on the video or you can email them to us or join our Discord server. That's probably where you will get the answers the quickest. Either way, bye. Bye-bye.